the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video flexible procedures in setting digits of results in abacus multiplication let us take the example 84 multiplied by 73 let us take the number 84 multiplied by 73 let us set the number 84 in the extreme left of the abacus let us count the digits of the multiplier multiplicand and add one column to the abacus and the total becomes 5 therefore we have to set the multiplicand 73 from the fifth column from the right side of the abacus that is the number 7 is set in the 10000s column and the number 3 is set in the 1000s column let us start the multiplication of 3 with the highest digit 8 of the multiplier 84 the result is 24 of which the number 2 should be set in the immediate right of the multiplicand 3 in the hundreds column and 4 should be set in the tens column let us multiply 3 with 4 which gives 12 and we have to set 1 in the tens column and 2 in the units column in the tens column we have to do an operation within the column to set the number whereas there is no problem in setting uh, the number 2 in the units column therefore the child can straight away set the number 2 in the units column and then come back to the tens column to complete the setting process in the tens column the number 1 should be added whereas we have only one bead in the upper abacus which has the value 5 therefore we add that number and to compensate that we can clear four beads in the lower abacus what we have done here instead of going to the units column after completing the process in the tens column we have gone directly to the units column and then came back to the tens column to complete the setting process has it changed the value no but the child should be comfortable going back and forth uh, if it is convenient uh, children often do this uh, and we should not restrict uh, if they are comfortable with that but the teaching abacus should follow the standard procedure of setting the numbers from left to right let us continue with the multiplication process as the multiplication of 3 with 84 is over let us clear 3 from the abacus we are left with 7 in the multiplicand and let us multiply 7 with 8 which gives a 56 let us add a 5 to the immediate right of 7 followed by 6 in the hundreds column let us take up the multiplication of 7 with 4 which gives 28 we have to add 2 in the hundreds column and 8 in the tens column in both the columns the setting of the numbers involve multiple operations and therefore the child may decide to complete the tens column first before coming to the hundreds column in the tens column we have to add 8 there is no possibility there and therefore we have to add one bead in the hundreds column and subtract 2 in the tens column for doing this we have to add 1 in the hundreds column and clear 2 in the tens column 
For doing this, we can clear the number 5 in the tens column and add 3 in the same column. Now we move back to the hundreds column where we have to add 2. We cannot uh, do that and therefore one bead should be added in the thousands column. And to compensate this, we have to subtract 8 in the hundreds column. Now the multiplication of 7 with 84 is completed and let us clear 7 from the abacus and the result we get is 6, 1, 3, 2. That is 6100. And 32. Whether we do the operation from the highest column to the lowest column or vice versa, in setting and clearing the numbers, the multiplied value will not alter the results, but moving back and forth requires sufficient skills and also memory of numbers, and therefore the preference should be left to the discretion of the visually impaired child.